Hello friends, this is Lina. And Tom. From our Next Step Forward, welcome to our channel where we discuss family, finances, and everything in between. Um, we're going to show you a little bit around today of our little reno that we're doing. Um, we'll show you what has happened so far. I'll try to find some recaps of what we've done, where it was. Um, I want to show you where the floor is right now. Um, and just a little bit of everything. I think we might be putting up the Christmas tree today. That's correct. And maybe some cooking. The kids told me they wanted food so and cake. So we might be doing some of that. So come on and join the journey. Welcome back. Okay, friends, so this is our kitchen floor. That, though, that is not the kitchen floor. That's my son, Brian. <laughs> um, so here, we used to have a wall. You see where the wood is? There used to be a whole wall here. and we removed it because we wanted to make the room look bigger the space seem bigger um, so here it is it's cracked it's old it's dirty it's a mess like okay, I literally mop it every day look how bad it gets from all the construction and stuff that we're doing now we also um, lifted the floor from the basement we had some issues with uh, one of the beams um, so we lift yeah the foundation so we <laughs> So we went ahead and lifted it up and it cracked a whole bunch of the, uh, I guess, tiles. That's candy. This is our puppy, our precious little baby. Um, so we're going to go ahead and replace this. And then, dun, 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 what's behind door number one? This is where we are actually doing Welcome the reno. The hot mess. <laughs> the hot mess. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's crazy. It, this floor was actually higher than the kitchen. You want to make it all the same kind of floor and the same level. Uh, where do you want to start at, babe? <laughs> it's awesome. Oh my god. There you go. So here we have... Okay, here was the bathroom before. Um, I'll try to show some, I don't know, some pictures or something if I find them. Uh, here, we're going to... Wait, we're gonna do the kitchen floor. This, we're gonna extend the bathroom. There's a bathroom here. Um, they already started working in here, trying to figure out what we can do. This is gonna be our uh, laundry room. And then, um, the shower used to be here. Um, the sink and the toilet. The toilet was right there. Yeah. The, um, there was a door by where he's standing at right now. Um, we're gonna move the door over here. There is, there was a hallway here, which it was just like a waste of space. So instead of having this whole hallway here, we're going to make the door here to go into the bathroom where the shower used to be. And we're going to move the shower. And it's going to be right here. <laughs> we're going to move the shower over here to make it bigger because it was actually very small and very cramped in the shower. Um, so we're going to get go ahead and put the entrance here with a sink. We're gonna put the toilet where he was just showing you guys sitting I'm at. It's gonna be gone and put it right new too. Yeah. This very old product right here. Yeah. No, no insulation. insulation no, they like used that, to have so. these. I don't know what what are these wheat boards or something. I don't even know what they're called, but no insulation whatsoever in here. Um, we did find cement, which is actually very good for us, so we don't have to, you know, buy the wood for it. Um, we were actually thinking about buying all wood, like a whole new setup. But we found this, which I guess was a porch back in the day. Let me show them from here. This is the door to go outside. So this here, I guess was a porch and then they just made it a little bit bigger to make the addition of um, like an extra little room and a bathroom. Uh, in here, we're gonna have uh, a washer and dryer. Let me show you. We're gonna have a washer, dryer, sink, and then hopefully a space for our dogs. Um, so that's what this is gonna be here, and maybe his barber chair, right, Candy? No, <laughs> so that's where it's at so far. Oh, we are gonna extend up here because there is some space up there, so we want to make it a little bit bigger. It is pretty low right now. I mean, it's not crazy low, but once you start adding product up there, the sheetrock and everything, then it'll definitely you know get a little bit lower. And I want it as high as possible. The floors are still open. Yesterday they did the foundation for that. They did some, um, I don't know, some 
But what was the, the what was the concrete they did down there? Yeah, they did the concrete and the foundation. Yeah, to hold the, the concrete in the bottom and then to hold the foundation. So that's done. Then what are you gonna do next, babe? We're gonna do that outside too. Oh, we're gonna extend actually it. extend it. We're gonna. It's gonna be. Oh, I didn't even top, notice that. On top of that. Yes, we're gonna extend our floor all the way to that area. And frame in and have another. Another window. Yeah, we're gonna make it bigger because how do I? I don't know how to. Let me see. I'll show you guys. There's barely any space in here. Like we have no pantry right now. Like our bathroom before had no space for any like towels, any products. Like we we had our toothbrushes outside and like a heater. You know, so we're just trying to make it better. Trying to make it go little by little to just look a little bit better. Trying to make it look good like hair. Oh, God. <laughs> trying to make it more homey. Um, and also trying to make sure our money goes where it counts. You know, uh, we don't know yet if we're going to stay here, which we probably are. But maybe in the long run, it's, it's something we would sell. And we definitely want to get our money back. It's me right now, I know we're going to stay here for a few years. So I do a lot of laundry. I think having... Um, a washer dryer on our, main, on our main floor is definitely a good idea and then also um we want to do something with the basement which we're so excited about because i think we're gonna maybe rent it out down the line it's one of our goal our goals um so you, you, for the honey. <laughs> so we'll definitely you know keep you guys updated on that. i hope you guys can hear me this is our first time using the camera for video it took us a little bit to, you know, try to figure it out, you know, play around okay. with it. She's just going to be in the Yeah, in she the wants video. to be in the video. She's like... <laughs> <laughs> she wants to be all over it, all the time, everywhere, center of attention. So, yeah, this is our first time, so hopefully you can hear us good. Um, and let me just show you again. This is the door to go outside right now where we're going to do the extension. This one's going to be gone. It's going to be bigger. Yeah, it's going to be extended, extended to where he said back there. Um, this is gonna be pushed up up to there and then it's still gonna slope because the, that's the way the ceiling is but at least it's gonna be higher and then we're gonna have the entrance to the bathroom and there's gonna be the sink the mirror then there's gonna be a toilet and the shower is gonna be right here I didn't want to do um, the shower over there where the window is because we have that upstairs and it's like awful i hate having a window in, in like my showering area i think that's so odd the way people do that so i'm not having that so the door is going to be there to go over there which is the bathroom and then one door aside from that like uh, across from that to come in here and there's not going to really be much of a hallway because we're going to use that as a shower that way that bathroom is bigger and yeah i'm, I'm very excited um they had this wall just covered a piece of wood no insulation again like we didn't even know that was there and this is where we are. Lots of work. My husband, has, <laughs> my husband has been doing lots of work, and he's trying to hide, but he's he's actually been doing most of the work in here with the guys that they come. Um, they work really hard. I, I I don't even know how they do it. Like <sighs> power. It's it's crazy. Um, the dust has been killing me. It's constant cleaning and picking up. And no matter like even if you mop and sweep and dust or whatever, it's falls again and it's all over but I'm glad it's getting done I, I see you know I have a vision and I, I, I see into the into the future where my main goal is also to have the basement done and I want to be more comfortable here instead of having like all the clothes brought from upstairs all the way down to the basement and back and forth I think it'll be easier here in the main floor it'll be better it'll be more efficient with the um, like cabinets to put stuff away and put stuff where they belong maybe even having the dogs up here will be easier because again in, in, in it's there in the basement at night and it's just it's it's a mission so it's gonna be wonderful yeah it's Beautiful gonna be great and, and i hope you guys stick around for it um it, it's very exciting very nerve-wracking because it's a lot of money a lot of work it makes you feel like you're an adult <laughs> like you're an adult which you know obviously we are but it's just like it feels good it feels good so that's it for now. Stay tuned, guys, for my update. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. So we thought we'd sit down a little bit with you and talk about um, how we pay for our rentals and how we do the payments for our contractors um, and how we go about saving for those things. Um, so firstly, we pay our rentals definitely in cash. Um, 
we use our points from our credit card. So for example, if we need supplies from the hardware store, my husband goes usually with the contractor, he pays with the card so that we can go ahead and get the points and then I'll pay off that bill um, usually the next week depending on how fast the points uh, uh, come on the card or how fast we use um, we can see it like how fast we see it on the card it depends on which one we use some of them are faster than others but as soon as that card um, those points come on I go ahead and pay it off um, what was the other one um, just just when you go buy something just make sure you grab what you need you know oh, yeah, that's a good don't be extra grabbing extra stuff and stuff like that um, if you think you grab something that is not gonna, um, expect, like it's not gonna, you guys not gonna use it, you always can return it. Where you know you're just paying an ass to come back and forth to grabbing stuff and try wasting to get wasting time and wasting, wasting money. Yep. You know this this guy right here for such a matter of time. So you want to use you know the most um, time that you can take out of them. Use so it wisely. Can, yeah, so you can. Um, you know, finish your project, try to get ahead with um, whatever you're doing. And what you need to do, and what yeah. you need to do. So, um, you know, try to, try to use um, cash money, you know, whatever you have, don't spend what you don't have. And That's the big be, one. Then you're going to be stuck, you know, doing those payments and stuff like that. So Pay interest, you, giving away your money. You basically want to use, you know, like you have the money, you go for a trip, you got what, what you need for that day. You know, maybe if you think ahead, you know, for the next day, if everything comes in plan, you can also go and get more that you know you're gonna use it the next day. But I prefer not to do that. Just grab it, you know, what you need for that day. Now you see something else special that you think is more expensive, and you in that day is the price is lower. You get it, you know why not? But um, yes, try to be smart, you know, with it. Yes, that's definitely something we do. We we never try to put it on our card if we don't have the money to pay for it because in the end of the day you're paying for interest um, which is basically you're giving your money away so you're working so hard for this money and then you're just giving it away you know we work hard for it and it's it's costing us you know a good amount of money to go ahead and do this right now um, so we wanted to make sure like when we came and he gave us a quote um, they're usually pretty good if, if they're a, a seasoned contractor, meaning they have a while doing what they're doing. They can more or less give you a ballpark of what they think you're going to spend on materials. And then they can also tell you, oh, this is how much I'm going to charge you. And this is what I'm going to do. The, you know, depending on what you want to do, he can tell you, okay, I can do that. I can do this. And you guys go from there. So definitely never overspend. Um, and don't put it on credit cards. Again, it's, it's why pay for something that you, in the future when you're already done it. Unless I would say... It's an emergency. You don't have any emergency funds, which you sh you should definitely have an emergency fund set aside. Um, then maybe, but again, why do that? Why not plan ahead and you know save you money? You bring in your contractor, you save up for it. Once you're ready, you have that money and a little bit more. You go ahead and proceed um, with your project. That's normally how we do it. Um, every year we do a little something, um, you know, and then. Once we're done with that, we go ahead and save and we do it all over again. <laughs> Miss, Miss attention seeker. And um, the way we pay our contractor is in threes. We pay him a, a, a amount of money in the beginning. So we divide the total amount by three. So let's say $6,000. We'll give him $2,000 in the beginning, $2,000 in the middle, and $2,000 in the end. We don't do... I, I know there's a lot of people who do um, half in the beginning, half in the end. We don't do that. I feel like it's a better incentive to do you know they're expecting the money you of course you're going to give it to them then a lot of contractors you know if they're irresponsible then they don't come or they have that grant you know if, let's say six thousand dollars you pay him three he's you know fine and dandy going with those three thousand dollars and working on, a, on another job and not coming back to you until he's really really like in need why waste that time and yeah there's a lot of contractors who you grow a relationship with we have an amazing contractor who we work with um, he writes everything down in his paper. He gives you the receipt. Like it's it's legit. But we still always want to make sure we we do it that way. Um, I think it's just for all parties involved. It works better. We also work with different contractors. Um, you know, some of them you definitely want to get. Uh, you you go by word of mouth. And you want to get other people's opinions on them. And if if they had other work um, done, at, you know, if they've had if they worked at other people, you know, and you know, you see their work. Again. 
it's great, but I will still continue the same procedure of uh, one third in the beginning, one third in the middle, one third in the end. And I think that works better for everybody's relationship. Um, again, we definitely pay for it slowly and we save up for it slowly. Um, it depends on the amount of time. This I think this is supposed to take us 22 days. Roughly. Yeah, roughly 22 days um, for him to do this. He does have other work. Um, so we we are working with him and he's working with us and it's it's been it's been good so far and you know Just making it work and making it you, you find what you need and, and the time frame that you need right now We usually do it this time my husband's home from work during the winter So he's able to manage that and work with them. That's another thing. I actually I forgot um, One thing that my husband does is so that it's less an amount or a, a less um, a smaller quote he actually does some of the work or he helps out. So for example, when he started in the beginning, like let's say he doesn't know how to do something. Okay, tell me what to do or how to do it and I'll do it. And he's a fast learner and he'll go for it and, and he does it, you know? Or like let's say for example, you don't know how to do something. Like demolition is something that's pretty easy, I think. You know, like he took down the whole wall by himself before. And just, it, just um, you know, um, just watch, learn, you know, at the yes. end, at the long, you know, every little bit that you can do extra, you know, like saving time in, also and also saving you labor, money. you know. Um, yep. Like I said, I always told him, just leave me some homework. When you guys are done, I keep going, you know, whatever you guys need me to do. Even can be cleaning up, just taking out screws. Um, Oh my God, putting the stuff that outside, inside, moving stuff, maybe breaking something else or whatever, you know, like you just, maybe you can pull a cable from one side to another one, it's all different stuff, you know. Can you tell we ran electricity last year? <laughs> so, you know, you can do that and when they come the next day, maybe you are a few steps ahead, you know, yeah. and, and they don't have to waste the whole day doing something that you can do. It's not, no, no, no science, no, science, no. yeah, no science behind it. Yeah, so it's, it's, I think it's cool because you learn, and, you know, next time when something happens, you can even do it yourself, or you know, and or even if you know, like two steps out of the three, you know, like I think that has definitely helped us a lot. Like, I remember last year when we were taking out the wall here in the kitchen, like it's like he said he had homework, and even though he was tired, like he was like, like it's almost like a pride thing i think like you feel like this is your house you can keep going and even if it was taking out um nails we had nails and screws everywhere everywhere so we needed to take those out like while he was doing that like i, I would mop or sweep or whatever and you know just get it done he would definitely do the demos um if he could um uh, anything that, that he could do he did and little even like the painting like let's say for example okay give me a quote on doing the floor on the sheetrock and on the painting Okay, if, if it's a little bit higher, if you don't want to, if you don't want that, or if you want to achieve it sooner than what you have saved, then I'll take on the painting on your own, um, which is fairly easy. But it just depends on how big your pockets are, how long you want to save for it, uh, what kind of job you're working on. We have, you know, a big goal here, which our goal is to fix the basement. You know, so this is just like a smaller thing that we're doing in between because we needed to bring the washer and dryer from the basement upstairs for us. We use it all the time in order to be able to do the basement and hopefully one day rent it out. So before we even put our hands into the basement, we needed to um, go ahead and bring those up here, bring our dogs up here, which they have an amazing room downstairs, like they have their own space. Um, they're usually outside or up here, but they, they sleep downstairs. So we wanna make sure they're comfortable at night. Uh, we wanna make sure our kids are comfortable that you know I'm able to do the laundry and that we have some storage here as well. So um that was the first step and it's going to take us about twelve thousand dollars just for that you know which is not even beginning the basement so um one of the things that we noticed was we fell in love with like the carrera marble amazing um it was going to be an additional six thousand dollars i think it was <laughs> an additional six thousand dollars so while i really want it and it's something we can do if we you know sacrifice some things it's you know you have to think oh is it really worth it what works with your pocket what is your ultimate goal what do you want to do we want income from our basement so what's our goal to get to that sooner while the marble will be nice you know it's something I, I, it's so expensive and I was looking into the care of it we have three dogs we have four children I'm always vacuuming they said even like you can um, scratch it with the vacuum and stuff like that so well, you know what 
I love it, but maybe down the line. So what we opted for was marble, marble styled tile. Um, so that's what we're gonna go for, and it's like a thousand dollars or something. It's the same thing, only fake. <laughs> it's from Chinatown, no. Um, it's it's definitely cheaper. On the top surface, it looks similar. It has um, it's it's man-made, so you know it, it's it's very how can I say? The marble it, it's it's natural, so you have like different patterns and different things. Though I think uh, when I was reading, they said every seventh or every eighteenth came the same with the tile, which I don't care. I'll ask my contractor to go ahead and and, and you know put it nicely, and I think it should be fine. And it really does look very very similar. While I'm very finicky with things, and in particular, I could tell the difference between the you know the tile and the <laughs> between the tile and the marble. Um, I'm okay with doing the tile, especially because you know of the mopping all the time and the cleaning and the vacuuming. I don't want to like I want to have nice floors, which I think I'll get out of the the tile. But I don't want to live just for my floor. Like oh my, and like having people over and asking them to take off their shoes all the time. Or you know, me. the dogs scratching. Yeah, or like having stuff. to be like extra careful with the dogs. I mean, they're animals. Like, you know, they they're very good, but you know, they run. Um, I'm like I said, I'm vacuuming all the time. My kids vacuum all the time because we have animals. I, I am very particular about like if I have a messy house, like I get very stressed and overwhelmed. So, I just don't think it's the way to go for us. So, you know, we opted for the 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 cheaper one. And it's gonna help us in the, the lower. Better one. The better one. The better one. There you go. We opted for it, um, the better one. The better for us. <laughs> we opted for that one, and it's it gonna help us get to our goal of uh, doing the basement sooner. And it's also gonna help us not be so worked up over the floor. And I think it's gonna be great. So, um, yeah, that's where we are right now. I am definitely gonna continue recording as we go and showing you the process. Um, it's a little weird to record while they're here, but you know, I'll see you know every day Maybe I'll try to get a little bit and go from there. Uh, I am very excited. We have a lot of plans, you know, and, and Just wanting to bring you guys along make sure you like and subscribe and stick around for the journey the yeah. thumbs, up. thumbs up um, Subscribe <laughs> And stick around if you want to see more we'll be bringing more along for you usually every Sunday I try to skip, uh, I'll try to bring in a little bit more in between as well um, But definitely we will receive a video every Sunday um, Also check us out on Instagram at our next step forward Anything else you want, <laughs> Anything else you want to add? No, that's well, hold on, hold on. Well, before I say well, I just want to say thank you for all your work. You, you, you definitely bust your ass with those people. I mean, I thank you for having me working for you. <laughs> I like, I like, I'll make food or whatever for them, but I, I could never do what you do. So can you pay? Yeah. <laughs> On that note, friends, have a great night.